to the Real Estate Scripts Podcast, the show that helps you know what to say when you're talking to buyers and sellers so that you can close more deals and earn more money. I'm Darren Tunstall, a real estate professional, coach, and number one best-selling author. Let's get into this. As a reminder, the purpose of scripts and dialogues is to come, learn, practice, and be prepared to fail forward. This is where we make mistakes and help each other out, but we're mostly interested in seeing how we can get better. First, we read through the script word for word, and then we go back and put it into our own natural tone, style, and phrasing. You won't know what to say until you go through the script. So with that said, many people will say, that's not how I sound, and I totally get it. That's not how you sound. But that is the reason why we practice every day so that the script becomes you and in your own voice. So read it word for word first, then go back and put it into your own natural tone, style, and phrasing, and I think it'll work out. Hi there, everybody, and welcome to episode number 33 of the Real Estate Scripts podcast. In today's episode, we have something very special for you. It's our quick listing presentation script. Join us as we dive into a practice dialogue between a real estate agent and a homeowner, where we explore the ins and outs of this crucial process. Get ready to uncover effective strategies for selling your home as we discuss property valuation, marketing techniques, and negotiation tips. Whether you're a homeowner looking to sell or a real estate professional seeking to refine your listing presentation skills, this episode is packed with valuable insights to navigate the world of real estate with confidence. So grab your headphones and tune in now. It's time to master the art of listing presentations. I'm the client. You're the listing agent. You're wanting to sell your home? Yeah, I'm wanting to sell my home. You're coming over. You're going to call beforehand. Hey, you know, we have a meeting. Is that okay? And then you're going to show up at the door, knock, knock, and then we're going to go through the presentation. Okay. So whenever you're ready. Um, all right. Um, ring, ring. Hello, this is Darren. Hi, Darren. This is uh, Stephanie Cunningham with uh, Keller Williams Realty and Reed Pros team. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. I uh, just want to confirm that we're still good for three o'clock today. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Perfect. Um, I, and did you get the email attachments I sent over earlier? Uh, if you didn't get a chance to read ahead, that's fine. But uh, if you have a chance to glance at them and come up with some questions, we can go over that at the meeting. Okay. Yeah, I did. I, I flipped through it a couple of, you know, a few times and I have a couple of questions here and there, but uh, not, not nothing crazy. Okay. Sounds good. I'll see you at three o'clock at your home then. All right. Thank you. All right. Um, forward. <laughs> okay. <laughs> knock, knock. Uh, hello. Are you Stephanie? Yeah. Hey, Darren, it's Stephanie. Are you ready to meet? I am. <laughs> okay. Is it okay if I come in? Yes, please come on in. in you're okay. welcome to put your stuff down on the table here. And uh, yeah, um, I this kitchen looks like a perfect spot to kind of chat. Do you mind if I set up here? Yeah, go ahead, set up. And if you want to take a look at the home, you know, we yeah. can do that now if you want. Yeah, that would be great if you can take me around and um, show me the things you love about your house. Okay. So um, obviously, you came through the front door. Uh, this is our kitchen over here. It's a pretty large kitchen, uh, and we chose to build it that way because we do a lot of entertaining. We have a lot of family that come over, so it's a it's a pretty large kitchen to to work with. Um, and then you walk right over here into the living area, and as you can see, there's some French doors that go out into our deck. We'll get there in a little bit. Let's go down the hallway a little bit. Right side is laundry room. Um, then we just keep on going. Here's the master bedroom, master closet. As you can see, behind the door is just my spot. Everything else is my wife's. And <laughs> and uh, we have another set of uh, French doors that go out to the deck as well, which would probably be a good time. So we'll just go out here. And um, as you can see, uh, this is about 600 to 800 square feet. I haven't really measured it. I know it's for sure at least 600 square feet of deck space. It's all done with um, um, Trex material, which and the uh, and and the uh, the 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 cover, the patio cover is also done with um, a, a luma wood, which is aluminum, but it looks like wood. 
Uh, so it's easy to clean is my point. So you can, yeah, so you can see we have an, an amazing view. We have uh, a bunch of grape vines. There's approximately 200 of them and they're Tempranillo. We make wine every year. So that comes with the house. Um, and so let's go back inside and then we'll go the opposite way of the hallway. Here's the dining room and then just keep on going. And then we have the two guest bath uh, bedrooms and, and, and another bathroom. So it's a three bedroom, two bathroom. And uh, that's pretty much it. Other than, you know, we have crown molding all the way around, wood flooring, obviously, um, some tile in the wet areas like bathroom and laundry. And then we have uh, uh, some carpet in the uh, bedrooms themselves. So that's it. About, uh, it's about 1800 square feet. Okay. Well, you have a beautiful home. I can tell, um, you know, you took a lot of thought into the selections you made with the materials and hard to beat the view and having your own vineyard in your backyard. That's great. I, I think we would have no problem selling your home. Um, but I'd love to tell you how we're going to do that. So you want to sit down for a few minutes and we can yeah. chat? Sure. Let's do that. Okay. Um, so we've already talked a few times, you know, a little bit about me. Uh, I do like to say that, you know, I am part of the real estate team, the reproduce team. And I just point that out because I think it brings some extra benefits to you um, as the seller or even as a potential buyer in the future. Um, you know, I work with a lot of really qualified individuals who are experts in different areas and you really benefit from the expertise of the whole team. If there's ever a situation um, you know, where I'm uh, not as sure, I always have my team to turn to and um, to be a resource. Um, at the same time, um, you know, as part of a team, they're always working with different buyers and sellers at the same time. And as Keller Williams, we just have a huge network almost around the, you know, nation. So um, I have a lot of contacts to reach out to, um, to get qualified buyers to purchase your home. Any questions on that? No, that sounds great. Okay. And now, Darren, have you sold a home before? How familiar are you with the process? I've This is my third home, so I've sold two in the past. Okay. Do you have any specific questions on the process or anything you want me to go over? Well, I, you know, I just want to learn more about your home selling process. You know, in the booklet, it says that you have 17 different things that you do. So, yeah. um, I mean, I, I can obviously read them, but uh, oh, no. is there anything? I'll tell you about it. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, um, we really um, pride ourselves on the marketing we do to get homes sold and to get the you know best buyers into your home and get you top dollar. And we really take an active approach in doing that. Um, you know, there's a lot of good agents out there and you could hire one of them. And, you know, once they get the listing, you might just find they say, especially, you know, in recent markets, I'm going to sit back. I'm going to let the buyers come to me and get your home sold that way. And, you know, honestly, they might, um, but by doing that, you're really not um, reaching the full um, amount of buyers out there that would be qualified to buy your home and you might be leaving money on the table. So we would like to take a more active approach and really go out and find those best buyers and bring them to you. Um, we do that a bunch of different ways. Um, we obviously, we put your home on the MLS and that makes it um, active and available for any other um, agents to see and bring uh, buyers to your home. In addition, that kind of, uh, what's the word? It allows it to also show up on some of the sites that, um, you know, potential buyers who are not working with agents yet uh, might see. So like your Zillow, your realtor.com, Redfin, those ones that you're probably more familiar with. Um, we hire photographers. We're going to come in. Um, your home is already beautiful. I don't think any staging is needed. So we would just bring in a photographer um, and let them um, use their skills to take beautiful pictures of your home, this view, the vineyard. Maybe we get them in here at like sunset um, just to add something to those pictures. And those are the pictures we would use on the MLS to advertise your home. Um, we can do things like sending out uh, postcards um, to the kind of the surrounding areas, seeing if anyone's looking to upgrade their home or know somebody who they want to, you know, bring into the neighborhood as a new neighbor. Uh, we do a lot of um, door to door, um, knocking on neighbors' homes, just, you know, asking, hey, do you know anyone, you know, for your school, your church, your work that's interested in moving to this area? 
Um, we've had a lot of success that way. Um, we do like to do um, open houses. Um, you know, typically if I were to get this listing, we would probably list your home on a Thursday morning. And then that weekend we'd schedule an open house on Saturday and Sunday and just kind of maximize the amount of people we um, can get through. If you're comfortable with that, let them see your home, uh, you know, set a deadline. We want all offers on the table by, uh, you know, close of business Monday. And then uh, you and I would review that and go over our best offers all the offers actually, but focus on the best ones and, um, you know, make a decision if there's one we want to, um, accept or, um, go back and forth and negotiate with. Um, in addition to that, we're also just really active on social media. Um, so maybe you've seen our stuff on, you know, Facebook or Instagram, um, TikTok, any of those, um, we try to get out there, post the listings and then just also post other, um, you know, marketing materials to kind of keep people's interests and in different blogs and such to, so that they return to the page and um, see our future listings. I think those are the main things we like to do. Do you have any specific questions about that? No, it seems pretty straightforward. Uh, I guess the only other question is about pricing the home. Sure. So I had um, put together a comparative market analysis and I had sent that over to email. Um, I emailed over to you earlier and just looking at your property um, without having seen it and um, comparing to miles within a home or homes within a mile around you um, that have sold in the last three months. Um, I'm thinking we could list at uh, $9.99. Now that I've seen your home and this vineyard and this view, um, I do think there's potential to go um, higher than that. Um, you know, I think we could maybe go as high as 1.1. Um, I kind of want to have that discussion with, with you and see what you're comfortable with. I think at, you know, 999, we're going to get a bunch of people through the door, a lot of interest. And I see there being more of a bidding war and probably driving up that price um, anyway. At 1.1, 1 .1, we're probably, um, you know, we're excluding those people that probably have their budget set at a million. Um, so we might not get those people through the door, um, but I still think there would potentially be buyers out there that we could bring in and get it sold for that number. What did you have in mind for a price? Well, uh, it's right around that range, but I really like your approach to getting more people in the door. And, you know, ultimately it's, getting to the 1.1 anyways. Mm -hmm. So if we can get more people in the door, that makes more sense to me than to try to capture a smaller market that that uh, we might miss, you know? Yeah, Darren, I think that's really a smart decision. I think um, we're going to have a lot of success with that, um, with that number and, um, you know, reaching out using all the different methods we just talked about to bring in a bunch of buyers. And I'm sure once they see this home, they're going to just fall in love with it. And, um, you know, we're going to have a lot of interest and we're going to get that number up. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, let's start so, with that then. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So it sounds like I think we're on the same page with stuff. So, um, you know, I'd love to get going on this right away. Are you looking to list um, now or where are you at in your timeline? Yeah, let's, uh, I mean, the house is fairly clean. Okay. Uh, you know, I don't think we need to do a ton. No, so I, I would like to get it on good. the market as soon as possible. Okay. Well, here's what we're going to do. I brought some paperwork, some contracts here today that you and I can go over. And um, this is just saying that um, I'll be solely representing you and you'll be solely working with um, me as your um, seller's agent. And once we have that contract signed, uh, let's see, today's Monday, your house looks great. I can see about getting a photographer in as soon as, you know, later this afternoon or tomorrow to get those photographs taken. And we'll plan to, um, well, as we talked about, list it on Thursday and um, maybe set up some open houses for this weekend if uh, the home's going to be available to show. How does that sound? Sounds great. Let's do it. Okay. Thanks, Darren. Thank you. You want me to sign something? Uh, yeah, the form's right here. All right, perfect. Here you go. Signed. Perfect. All right. So that was really good. Um, looking at this 
presentation deck, it's more visual than anything. Uh -huh. And the steps are, they're, they're, they're just the 17 different steps that we take, but you kind of caught on which like there's the photographer slide, there's the MLS slide, there's the just listed slide. And that's really just a form of showing people exactly what's taking place during the marketing yeah. phase of all those. So you did a great job. All right, so that's the script. I hope that you found it very useful. To download the script, just go ahead and head over to realestatescriptspodcast.com. There'll be a link there for you to download the script. This podcast is for the purpose of education only, and it does not make any guarantees. We suggest you seek out the help of your broker, coach, or mentor for specific situations. Brought to you by Darren Tunstall at Repros, California DRE number 0185344.